there at uh, Highland Park Market in Glastonbury. It's one of my uh, favorite grocery stores to shop at. They have uh, tend to have a little more quality meats than a lot of the local places like the Stop and Shop, the, you know, the, the chain stores. Um, and they have really good quality meat. And, and, and the beef is, is unbelievable. It's grass-fed beef, and it's only about a dollar more a pound than it is at Stop and Shop and Big Y and some of the other chains. And for an extra dollar, an extra five-minute drive, get some really good quality meat. And for me, like I said, mentioned before, I, you know, I rather not buy a $200 pair of Jordans, think I'm cool, drive a fancy car. I'd rather spend more money on food. I'm into food, I do it as a profession. Uh, that's what I do at the hospital, I'm a dietitian. Food's something that I value, and that's what I'm gonna spend money on. Um, but you can't go wrong with the steaks. And when, a lot of times when you have the steaks here, it, it almost beats some of the steak restaurants you go to. They cook it in butter and pan fry it, and you have all these crazy chefs make this phenomenal steak, and you have one of these at your grill at home with none of that, then it tastes better. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I take a trip up here to Holland Park Market. This is where it's at. This is uh, Ezekiel Bread's competitor, Alvarado Street Bread. A lot of people don't know about it, some people do. I like it a little bit better, preferably because of the price sometimes. Not necessarily the price here, as you can see it's six dollars, but I don't pick up a loaf. Liquid egg whites, because I'm too lazy sometimes to crack all the individual ones and go to the big chain stores and crack out 20, which will take forever. So what I do is, uh, lately <laughs> I've been in such a hurry and no lack of time, I've just been drinking them. It's disgusting, but I mean, it gets the job done. I mean, you could drink two cups of them, no problem, it takes about 30 seconds. And to eat two cups of cooked egg whites, it takes forever. A lot of ketchup. Jasmine rice, white rice. Now people always be like, well, white rice is bad for you. Brown rice is better. Yeah, brown rice is better, but when it comes to off season, you're trying to eat so much food. Sometimes eating two and a half cups, two cups of brown rice can be difficult. And eating uh, white rice, jasmine flavored, with a little bit of, uh, which I'll show the secret to eating rice in a minute. One of this is, is key, and it's easy to eat. That's the key thing, off season. Bodybuilding, nobody said bodybuilding's healthy for you. But to get all the calories in, white rice, much better, easier. This stuff is the key to eating white rice, or any type of rice for that matter. Put the rice in the rice cooker, follow the directions with the water ratio, the whole one cup, one part rice, two cups water. And then add a tablespoon of this right into the center, blop. Close the rice cooker. Let it cook for 10 minutes, open it up, and stir it all together in the rice. When the rice gets a little thicker, and then let it sit. When you pull it out, it would be like restaurant rice, or like sushi rice, all sticky and hard. So you can take one big clump of your spoon and get a half cup of rice down like that, instead of getting all dry and crumbly and separates, you know? This uh, Puerto Rican woman at work told me all about this. This works wonderfully. They make low sodium ones. They make vegetable-based ones for all you vegetarians out there who are scared of meat. Clam-based ones, clam. Beef base. Why mince blueberries from Maine? By far the best blueberries of all time. Absolutely urinates on all the other brands of blueberries. Sorry other companies, Why mince just is on a whole new level. Little baby blueberries, in the back of these little anti-accident profile. Neat little resealable bag for later. They save, uh, they make bigger bags too, big like three pound bags you can get at the big uh, Sam's Club BJ's. And these are just wonderful. I eat bowls of these things by themselves. Who says you can't eat fruit in the off season or during contest prep? Who said that? You're an idiot. So for off season, I want to have to eat, you know, toast in the morning. Sometimes I'll do the regular avocado bread like I showed you before or the Ezekiel bread. But cinnamon raisin is easier to eat. And for those who have appetite problems, such as myself, it's easier to eat five pieces of these than it's to eat five pieces of regular Ezekiel bread. So I'll choose these bad boys. Murder a, a loaf of this in a couple days. This filet of sirloin here, it's kind of general sirloin, but it's like, almost like a leaner cut versus the uh, regular sirloin steak over here. It's 10 bucks, 9.99. At Stop and Chop, they have them for 8.99. And the quality here is 30 times better for one more dollar. I will spend that extra dollar. 
I will cash in cans for the extra dollar to get that steak. Much better deal. It's a pain in the ass to shop at different places, but it's well worth it if you're into your food like I am. Thank you. Bell and Evans chicken is the way chicken's supposed to taste. I don't give it often because it is very expensive, as you can see. Um, but every once in a while, I like to treat myself with some nice food. Instead of a new cool pair of sneakers, like kind of like the ones I have on now. Grandpa sneaks. I'd rather settle for grandpa sneaks and get better food. Bananas, cheap way to get more calories. Healthy for you. People need to eat fruits. I get a lot of clients come to me and, and their food's like, for breakfast, cream of wheat or cream of rice and eggs. And the rest of the meal is a whole day is just meat and white rice, meat and white rice. Almost no veggies or fruits. Definitely not healthy. I think some obese people actually eat healthier than that. At least they eat a wider variety of food. And that's one thing that's lacking in the bodybuilding community is a lack of variety. Have a variety, cycle the foods, change them. The best you can, at least, at least for dinner and breakfast. It makes your pee smell funny, but I like it. Sometimes like people, you know, they get a lot of gassy, you know, in the off season, they have like a little intestinal issues. And a lot of that has to do with sometimes uh, food partially being digested and fermented in the intestinal tract causing gas, or they're eating gas causing foods. Um, most likely things like beans, legumes, uh, most commonly broccoli, super vegetables, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, those things can cause a lot of gas. And even sometimes some people nuts. So, um, you know, it's always important to have a functioning gastrointestinal tract. And if a lot of inflammatory issues are going on, you're having a lot of gas or, or uh, stools that are not normal for you, you, you want to narrow that down. And I always tell people to do elimination diet, so to speak, where you remove one thing at a time. And then once you remove, say, three or four culprits over, like, say, 12 days, and then you start adding one back at a time until you find out exactly which one was the problem. And then you can eliminate that thing. So a lot of times people will just eliminate everything and it gets better, but what happens is then you don't know exactly what the problem was. It's always good to try to figure out exactly what that one thing is and to avoid it. I don't eat broccoli, not because I don't like it, not because it's not good for you, it's because it kinda, kinda messed my stomach up a little bit. And asparagus, spinach, to me are the most tolerable vegetables, so those are the ones I prefer mostly. When I get sweet potatoes, I try to get ones of the same size. So when you bake them, they all kind of cook evenly together. Or semi the same size, but they're oddly shaped. Um, and I like to cook them almost till they're almost overdone, where the skin's kind of like almost flaking off. So I let them put them on the counter cool, and then I can just peel, well, rip the whole skin off and drop the whole potato into a bucket, a little container, and then mash it all up. You know, a lot of people tell me, like, you know, I don't like to eat vegetables. You know, in, the, in the off season and it gets you too full. But a good way to get a large amount of vegetables in without having a large quantity in your stomach is you can take a handful of this, wilt it in a pan, a little bit of Pam spray or whatever, a lot of olive oil you're allowed it in that meal, wilt it up, add a little spice to it, and just mix it in with your rice or your ground beef. I mean, this much spinach will wilt to nothing. And you're still getting the same sort of uh, nutrients. And that's a good way to get vegetables in your in your diet. It's important, very important.